Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla Fahey Arts, and I teach mindset and organization or planning skills for professionals. And I love to make videos using OneNote. I use it um, for work and personal. I use other digital planning apps. I also love paper planning, but something always makes me come back to OneNote. And I think it's just because that is the office suite that my work uses. And so why not? Um, I'm actually planning on an iPad. So your version might be looking a little bit different than mine. That's okay. You'll just have to experiment and see what works for you. But I have um, tested what I'm gonna show you today on different modes and it does work on the computer and on your tablet. I did a previous video showing how to link in OneNote, so I'll put that in the card in the description below for you to check out. But today I'm gonna show you how to set up your Leader Standard Workbook. So if you've purchased a Leader Standard Workbook bundle from me, um, the one that's for OneNote specifically, I have a video showing you how to set it up and how to set your PNGs to background, but I want to show you how to make it more, um, I guess, functional. Um, obviously, you've got your monthly tabs um, as well as your weekly leader standard work tabs and your daily tabs, okay? And so that's easy to navigate just by the tabs. But what if you're on the page and you just want to quickly go to the first weekly layout, right? All you have to do is insert a link. And when you do that, you can open the page directly. You don't even have to go out and expand all of the tabs. So I think that's really nice. It's a great way to categorize and organize your life. I really like how we can set up all the pages we need and then we can just link them easily. So I wanted to show you how I would go about setting up my leader standard work template for the weekly template if I was gonna set it up for the first week of August. So it looks like, oh, it looks like I have a little extra here. <laughs> All right, so I kind of started. So the first thing is first, is you wanna come over to your monthly template. You see I have the first two weeks kind of filled out and then you want to add your weekly link. So I showed this in a previous video. All that you would do to create a link is you would do the um, double brackets and then you would um, type your text and then you would double bracket and enter and you're gonna get a link the dotted line here um, shows that there's no text on this page and that's because when you do that you create a brand new page um, if there isn't already one if you do something brand new but if you type a, an existing word or page um, you're gonna get a link to that actual page. So that's why it links here. So for me, I love to link the month week with the, uh, the month with the week, right? And I love to link the day um, here with the actual day. So that way it's really functional. So let's go ahead and fill that out just so you can see how you might organize your weekly leader standard work. So I've kind of started for you. What you wanna do is be in the draw mode and then be in text mode. And then you wanna do your double brackets. And then I'm just gonna follow my naming convention. So I've named each page Og four. So now I have Og four. And what I'm gonna do is use the lasso tool and just drag it over to where I want it to be. And it's perfect. So then I'm gonna do another one. I'm gonna do double brackets, og, five. And you can see it's there. I will lasso it and I will move it over. So I love this because in my other digital planner where I'm in the GoodNotes app, all the pages are linked and you can just click on them and move seamlessly throughout that planner, but it's a lot of work on the back end, and that makes a really large file. But for you, you can sort of create your planner. It's almost like DIY as you go when you're in um, OneNote, which I love. So let's say we were gonna start planning on week five, or day five, August five. We open it up and there's our daily planning page, okay? So just something to keep in mind is that when you're naming each month, you wanna make sure each week and each day of the week has a unique name for example if you you know i have aug one aug two in september i have 
you know, September 1, September 2. If I were to come over here and let's say I was going to create a page for, um, let's just say it was just one, like if I just did the day of the week in my, um, and I just linked to one, so I'm going to show you that. Here we go. All right, so now I'm linked to one. Um, it has an under it, dotted line, trust me, it's hard to tell because there's nothing on that page. So let's open it. So it created a brand new page with nothing on it just now, and it's down here, okay? So if I was going to be in September, let's just say, and I wanted to um, use my leader standard work, I was like, okay, the first, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna set that as background. Like, I'm just gonna create a page that's um, one as well for like the first. So I can link to the first daily page in September. It's going to have, it's not, you see it did not create a new page in September. There's no one in here. So when I click on that link, let's see where it takes us. It takes us to the August one. So the first link that you make with that exact text is where that link will go. So that is why you want to make unique names for your weekly and daily pages if you're going to link them. Because otherwise, it's going to go to that first link. So I don't want to go to number one or the first in August if I'm really talking about September. So that is how, uh, those are just some good tips for you. If you're going to um, set up your leader standard work here like I have, now you've got your days of the week and you can easily navigate. You can also see I linked the month. So that might be something you also want to do is in here, instead of just writing August, you can type in August and then it's going to open the monthly pages. So now you have everything back and forth so you can easily toggle and navigate. Um, I think this is nice because when you do expand the folders, um, even if you have um, part of it open, I feel like it it limits your screen and you don't realize that um, you don't have as much space as you would like. So when you don't have this, this is this arrow. Let's see if I can show it to you. I don't know if I can um, point it out here on my tablet. But over here on the right hand side, there is this um, right here next to the settings, you've got this double arrow. That's your expansion. And that's gonna allow you to have the most space on your screen. When you have it um, collapse, or sorry, when it's open like this, you have your side view. And you can write and, and do things in this view, but it just doesn't maximize the amount of space. So I always like to work, remember to work in full screen mode that way you have way more room to get started and write versus when you're not expanded like this so yeah definitely recommend having full use of your screen and that also allows you to see the overview and then you can see what links you have so i hope this video was helpful to show you how to make links how to set up your leader standard workbook so that it's a little bit more user friendly in terms of linking when you're on the monthly page or when you're on the weekly page. And who knows, maybe I'll come up with some really fun things to link on your daily pages. All right, everybody, take care and have a good day.